when you really look, step back and sort of look at archaeology from whatever time period, um, and I've been doing this for 50 years or something like that, you realize that the, the basis of, of everything, what archaeologists dig, is the dirt. Hi, I'm Paul Goldberg, and I have an affiliation here at ICAREB, but also one's at uh, University of Tübingen and another one at uh, University of Wollongong. All archaeological problems start as geoarchaeology. What archaeologists dig up, the dirt, is essentially a geological thing, you know, so it has a geological history to it, as well as a human history to it. Sediments as artifacts is something I've been Try preaching, shall we say, over the years, you know? Uh, so many archeological sites, when you look at them, the, the thing that you're looking at is made by humans. So it's not simply just pottery or lithics or bones that show up at the site. There's a signature of human activities and what people were doing in the past that's represented by their constructions and, you know, colloquially, the dirt that they leave behind. Geoarchaeology runs a spectrum of, of, you know, endeavors from looking at very detailed things to landscapes and how sites spin on the landscape and looking at the microscopic things to find out what's, what's in them, traces of what people did and so on and so forth. So I think, this, I think for archaeology, this is the future. The kind of stuff I do, looking at details of the sediment under the microscope, is just one end of the spectrum uh, of applying geoarchaeological things. And the other end is understanding the geology of a whole area to say, well, okay, why are sites where they are and so on and so forth. So it's like this accordion of small scale, larger scale, and understanding how they fit together. Geoarchaeology, when you really think of it, it's the lowest common denominator of any, any archaeological site, whether it's 300 years old or 3 million years old. That's the basis. And if we don't study this right, I think we're, we're doing ourselves an intellectual disservice and we're kind of losing some very important information that controls how we interpret the stuff we dig out of the ground.